You hear about Walt? Yeah. Sold out to Microsoft, huh? Yeah, that. And he won a $14 million lottery. No, he didn't. Yeah, he did. Actually, he bought a scratch ticket with three strippers. I think they're splitting it up. Oh, my God. Well, good for him. <laughs> yeah. I guess some guys are just born lucky. Hey. I'm going up this weekend into the mountains, do some spring skiing with Rosemary. If you want, I could see if she's got a friend I could hook you up with. Yeah, that's OK. I, uh, I think I'm going to stay home and clip my ass hairs. <sighs> what does that mean? I guess it means I got a hairy ass. OK. <laughs> Something's going on with you and women, Mo. Maybe you should go to one of these Tony Robbins seminars. You can see what he's done for me. Oh, you mean because you're so irresistible now? Look. <laughs> I don't blame you for a second if you think I'm nuts, but I'm telling you, something's happened, man. Tell you what, since you can have any woman you want, why don't you go after her? Who, Jill? Yeah. Been there, done that. Oh, and you think you could work your way back in there? I think I could. Hey, Jill. Hey. Come here a sec. Hey, Hal. Listen, what are you doing tomorrow night? Um, I'm around. You want to go out for some, uh, some dinner and drinks? Yeah. Yeah, I'd like that, Hal. Great. I'll call you. Oh, shoot. What am I talking about? I can't. I'm working all night. I'm sorry. Oh, OK. Um, a rain check, maybe? Definitely a range. Ah! Oh, you know what I'm trying to do. Kick, kick. What was that? I told you. But why did you cancel? I mean, all right, I admit, you know, the canines are a, a little pointy, but still, come on. Well, uh, I just don't think Rosemary would have been too thrilled with the idea. Uh, you know what, Hal, I guess I got to give you credit for being more proactive and starting to meet women. And who knows, maybe you are on a roll here or something. But don't you think it's time to raise the bar a little? Huh? I mean, at first I thought you were in a slump, you know? And I could, as a friend, sort of look the other way while you banged a few fatties and got it out of your system. But, you know, there's lots of good-eating fish out there. You don't have to be snacking down on carp anymore. And I suppose the girls we partied with a couple weeks ago downtown were a couple of carp, too? No, Laura, the one with the whiskers, she looked more like a catfish. Oh, uh, I see. And what about Marie? Pop some bolts on her neck and the villagers will be chasing her. And Vicky? Who? Vicky! Who's Vicky? Vicky, Vicky, with the short brown hair. Vicky? I thought that was a guy. I was calling her Vic. Oh, you're out of your mind. Look, I know I'm being a little harsh on you here because I think real friends are obligated to be honest with each other. You know, and this, this one that you're dating now, jeez. Careful. Hey, all I'm saying is she's got cankles, for God's sake. What? Cankles, she's got no ankles. It's like the calf merged with the foot, cut out the middle, man. She's got like coffee cans I know down what there. cankles are. Rosemary doesn't have them. Oh, I know what's happening here. You're scared. Scared? Yeah. This is exactly what happened with the knockout with the freaky toe. You're just inventing reasons to dump girls because you're afraid. <laughs> yeah, I'm afraid. I'm afraid of having a bunch of flipper kids. All right, look, I, I admit Rosemary is kind of cool, all right? But you have to admit you wouldn't even be talking to that woolly mammoth if her father wasn't the president of your company. <laughs> 